What's happening, JJ Squad? It's your boy JJ. So late, we're back again with another video. This time we're doing a collaboration <laughs> with my music instructor, Jameson. And today we're gonna learn about articulations. Now, first, before we even get into this video, because we got some really exclusive stuff coming up. So first thing I need to you to do, go subscribe to my channel, okay? Then you need to go to subscribe to Jameson's channel. Subscribe button is going to be right here. I want you to like and comment and see what other videos you want to see, okay? But anyways, let's get it started. Boom! <laughs> He's excited. Hi, fellow horn players. As you just heard, we're going to do this video about articulations. It came from the comments. Someone wanted to know how do you articulate and how do you tongue? So I'm going to work with Justin here and explain to you guys how to articulate your notes and how to tongue. Okay, so we haven't warmed up yet. So we're going to just warm up with a short scale. We're going to do the C scale. Player C. Ready? Play. All right, so we just warmed up. Now we are going to work on our articulations. Now when you're a beginner, the first thing that you always do is the breath attack. So that's with no tongue at all. You just use your breath to start the note. So we're gonna show you what a breath attack sounds like. So just start the note with no tongue. So you can hear that with the breath attack, it kind of has a feeling that it's coming in like a So that's not the best way to um, really play your note or start your note. It's not the most accurate and sometimes it doesn't start when you, when you want it to. So we want to start right on one. So we use our tongue to start the note. So when you start your notes, you want to use the syllable toe because we want a nice round inside so we can get as much air as possible. We use the syllable toe. So Justin, why don't you say, try saying toe. Toe, 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 toe. Now, let's try it with just air. And that is how you start your note. So let's try it through the horn. See what that sounds like. Do it on C and just do multiple C's in a row. Okay. Nice. So that is how you tongue. Every time you start the note, you start with a toe, toe, toe. And let's try the C scale like that in quarter notes. Tonguing. What we just demonstrated was your regular tonguing that you would use on an everyday basis. But sometimes you have these things called staccato notes. Wait, 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 wait. staccato? What's a staccato note, Jameson? I'm glad you asked, Justin. Staccato notes are short. They have a little dot on top, just like this one here. Yeah, right here, right here, right here. The dot, here, see it? Well, I don't see it. Right here, right here, he here, right here, see it? Ah. ah. You've seen that on your music before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> seen it. Those are short, very, very short. And how you do that is dit, dit, dit. You want to stop the note at the end of it with a dit. Let's try it through the horn. Four of them in a row. One, two, ready, play. That is staccato. Make sense now, Justin? You yeah, got it? Is. Yeah. You got it, good. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is slurring. You mean like this, Mrs. Jameson? <laughs> No, not like that. Slurring in the instrument. We're going to slur the notes that we play. <laughs> All right, so a slur is when you have one or more different notes that are connected. You would 
tongue the first note and then slur the rest of them to the end. So all you do is you tongue the first thing and use your airstream and your fingerings to play the rest of the notes. So Justin, let's try this C scale again and this time you're gonna slur up. Okay, but remember, slur the first note. Tongue the I mean, first that, Tongue the first note. Yeah, all right. All right, so we'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, slurring does take a whole lot of air. Today we went over regular articulation, we went over staccato notes and slurring. So those are your three basic articulations. Later on I'll do a video on the other ones that are a little more complicated like accents and tenuto markings and things legato. like that. Yeah, legato, yeah, all that. So I'll do the next video on that. Hopefully this was good to get you started. Thank you to my friend Justin for helping out with this video. Go ahead. Hey, and uh, awesome. before we end the video, remember, subscribe. Subscribe button is going to be right here. And I'm gonna make sure to tell Miss Jameson where before you can exit the video, you have to subscribe. Now also, I need you to go subscribe to my channel because I'm really terrible subscribers. But um, yeah, it's JJS Squad. Uh, it's gonna be in the link in the description down below. Subscribe, and the Jameson will not post any more videos until everybody subscribes. So have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at J Squared Horn. And as always. Go practice.